Hey, what is up everyone? Long time since I've done a ROM review, but today we're going to be going over the Cosmic OS ROM. Um, so this is actually one that I've been wanting to try out um, for a long time. This is the last ROM that I have on my phone since I switched to the Pixel. If you haven't checked out that video, I'll leave a link to it. Amazing phone. But here we have Cosmic OS. Um, it is running version 1.5. Um, it is based off of Lineage OS 7.1.2 Android version and April security patch. Um, there is one that was released recently, a couple days ago, um, but it causes boot loops and that one is not stable. So do not download the latest uh, version. I would download version 1.5, which is the one that is most stable at the moment. Um, but we'll get into some of the features that this offers. Lots of customization, that's for sure. Um, you do have tons of lock screen, status bar settings for all of your uh, icons and things like that. Um, you do have battery bar that can be in the uh, locks and the status bar or in the, in the navigation bar down below. Uh, navigation bar you can always enable that um, or your uh, actual physical button if you so choose underneath the hardware keys you can select all the different actions for tap long press and things like that um, so one thing I've noticed right away using this ROM even back before I got my pixel was that the fingerprint scanner um, is very slow to to read your your finger um, it sometimes reads it and then sometimes it fails and then when it does fail uh, what happens is it pretty much disables the fingerprint scanner and then you have to log in with your pin um, so I found it not being very reliable um, so that was kind of that was kind of unfortunate in that case. Um, so I wish that, that gets fixed, um, but everything else seems to be okay. Battery life is is all right as well. Definitely not the best compared to some of the other ROMs like Dirty Unicorns, uh, Lineage OS, um, Citrus. Um, I was getting maybe, if, I think maybe at most four hours of screen on time. Um, so that, then again, that was not using the Dark Moon kernel. This was using stock kernel that came with the phone. Um, so again, you do have the app ops, which is nice inclusion. So you can individually specify permissions for apps. Um, Nightlight is great. That that's here. Tons of options for your dashboard settings, ambient display. And then you also do have um, like the OnePlus uh, type gestures as far as picking up for ambient um, notification type things. Um, when you wave your hand over the screen, it'll turn on that sort of thing. Double press the camera, the power button to open the camera. Um, so yeah, pretty basic, um, basic ROM, not too much. Um, but it is fast. I will give that, I'll give it that. Um, but then again, just that fingerprint scanner that is a pretty uh pretty significant um bug hopefully they get that fixed and hopefully the new uh rom that they push out as far as the update goes um will be much improved as well um but yeah i would i would hold off on this one just for right now um until they get um until they get this fi figured out as far as updates fingerprint scanner um, again, I haven't been using um, this phone for quite a while, but uh, standby time without a SIM has been has been pretty great. Anyways, so as you can see, nine days ago was the last time I even charged this, so it's been sitting for nine days, and I have barely even needed to charge it until now. Um, so that's, I would say that's pretty good. <laughs> um, if you guys have any questions, of course, leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. And as always, subscribe to my channel for future content. I'm not sure how, how often I'll be able to do these ROM reviews now, seeing as the Zook is not my daily driver anymore. Um, so anyways, thanks for watching guys. And like always, stay tuned for future content and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.